and welcome to Talk Straight Bible. I'm your host, Rafina Antonetti. And today we're going to be talking about God's covering over us. And this will be part one. Throughout the Bible, we see God's protection and provision over us. As I've been reading Psalms 91, 1 through 16, he has demonstrated how he covers us. God is amazing. This is one of the scriptures that I hold on to and have held on to. When we have crisis all around us, there is only one that can turn that we can turn to. Hopefully we are not um, thinking that the president or vice president or governors or mayors um, or people in Congress can fix anything because they can't. Only if they turn to God and make this one nation under God once again, perhaps we can see some change. But ultimate change comes from the Lord. So today I will, I will be sharing from Psalms 91, 1 through 8. Psalms 91, 1 says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Have you ever gone to bed and as you're under the covers and you prop yourself up to read or to, to pray or to watch TV, you get this overwhelming feeling like, wow, I'm home. I can rest now. I feel protected and safe with no concerns of the world outside. This verse reminds me that he is sheltering me and he is covering me and my home because he is almighty and no power of the enemy can withstand him. Let me share this. This is a true story. Jeremiah and I lived on Tremont Avenue in the Bronx a long time ago, and there were people that didn't like us. Actually, they were gang members. And they used to do so much stuff. They used to break into our van. They used to smoke in our van. And one day we noticed there was this live chicken in the rear of the building where we lived. And we were like, wow, that's strange. What is that? So soon after, I don't know if it was that same night or nights after that, but Jeremiah wakes me up and he says, "Um, we need to pray. And we started praying, and we're just praying and praying. And after a while, we literally felt as if a blanket of blood just covered our windows. As if God was showing us that he has sheltered us from whatever anyone was trying to put on us or whatever the enemy was trying to bring upon us. He was sheltering us because we are covered by his blood. And the next morning, that chicken was dead. And little by little, things started happening to these guys. But praise God, one of them got saved. Because I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. He's our refuge, folks. He's our shelter from from the rain, from the storms, from danger, from falsehood. Let us keep our confidence in him, relying on him and him alone. Sometimes we want to go ahead of God, but he has the answer. There's no place to go. Just sit in his presence and wait on him with great confidence. In Psalms 91.3, it says, For he will save you from the trap of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. So what in the world is a fowler, right? A fowler is a hunter, a trapper, one that goes around looking and hunting birds like ducks and geese to either eat them or to even put them up as trophies, whatever it is that they do, the hunters do. But the Bible says that we too have such a fowler. Our adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour through any means necessary, through disease, through sickness, through COVID. But God saves us. Now you may say, 
But so many Christians has died from COVID. I will say, but so many have not. And either way, we win. He will cover you and completely protect you with his pinions. And under his wings, you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a wall. The pinions on the bird are the feathers, particularly the outer part of the wing that bends. So imagine this gigantic wing bending over you and covering you and nothing can penetrate because his faithfulness is to shield you and it's like a wall and everything bounces off. The Bible says in Psalms 91 5, you will not be afraid of the terror of night nor of the arrow that flies by day. You know, at night, we don't really know what is going on in the world or right outside your door. We're asleep. I can only imagine how much he actually protects us from with us not even knowing. We may never know, but God protects us. Verse 6 says, Nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the destruction, sudden death that lays waste at noon. You know, one day in, 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 in 2019, we were asleep. And there was darkness working and coming our way in the form of COVID-19. And we were unaware of the destruction and the sudden death that was coming. And a thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but danger will not come near you. And although we may have seen hundreds of thousands, And unfortunately, it could have been even family members. And that is a tragedy to lose anyone to this pestilence. But it did not come near us. We are still here to preach his word and to tell others about the goodness of God in spite of what we see. Because look what um, Psalms 91, 8 says. You will only be a spectator as you look on with your eyes and witness the divine repayment of the wicked as you watch safely from the shelter of the Most High. Wow, 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 is all I can say. We need to just meditate, really, on God's protection and provision in the days to come. Because he is all around us, and that's exactly what he's doing. He's keeping us safe, protected, and he is providing in every way. God bless you, and until we meet again, shalom.